The Apostle John begins this power-packed short epistle in similar fashion to his gospel account, drawing all of our attention to and setting the stage for our eternal God who became man, Jesus. And verse 4 lays out a premise and the purpose for the five chapters that will follow. He says, these things we write to you that your joy may be full. Isn't that awesome? He wants our joy to be full. So if you desire to have joy that is full, read carefully, meditate regularly, and put to practice what John writes in this incredible epistle. I'll be honest with you. The Lord has used the verses of this first chapter to mold, shape, and keep me for more than 30 years of my walk with Christ. John, he's a straight shooter here. He plays no games. If we say that we have fellowship with him, and yet we walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth, he says in verse 6. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us, he says in verse 8. And if we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us, verse 10. So here's the bottom line John is saying. Be real with the Lord. Don't pretend to serve Him while you're really serving yourself. Don't act as if you aren't dealing with some sort of sin right now. When you really are, everyone is. And do not forget the sin that you have been forgiven of, being puffed up in a good place with the Lord today. We are forgiven, that's true, but His grace is new and needed every single day. If you find yourself today struggling with sin, there is no better place to come than to Jesus. John tells us that if we confess our sins, he'll be faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, verse nine. And finally, the most encouraging and practical of all advice for how to walk upright before the Lord in verse seven. If we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. If you and I simply walk close to our Lord, we can guarantee things will work out, that the Lord will take care of us and we will remain in a right place with him. Out in the darkness, there's no guarantee out there. So be real with your God, be real with yourself, and purpose to walk in the light as he is in the light. He is able, no, he is more than able to keep you from stumbling. You are greatly loved, so go and greatly love.